Okay then gang, so we've now completed the website for mobile side screens and it's looking pretty swanky, looks good. But now what I want to do is extend this for larger size devices. So I'm going to start that with tablet styles and that kicks in at about 620 pixels. So what I'm going to do is expand this browser until it reaches about 620. And by the way, I can see the dimensions of the browser up here at the top right when I do this. So when I reach about 620, 630 is fine. That is what we're going to be targeting right now, this kind of minimum width. And by the way, to see those dimensions up there, you have to have open your development tools in the browser. And to do that, you can right click and go to inspect right here. That's going to open up your dev tools. And then whenever you change the width of the browser, it's going to show up here in the right. OK, so then what do we want to do at this width? Well, we want to do a few things. First of all, I want to neaten up this top part because it's looking a bit skew with now. I've got a lot of space down here that we don't really need. It doesn't really look even. Also down here, I think we're kind of wide enough now in the browser to put these next to each other or maybe two on the top row, one on the bottom row in the center. So we'll do that. Um, these look okay down at the bottom. Maybe we'll do something with them. I don't know. And maybe just tidy this up a little bit as well. But let's start at the top. So the first thing I'm going to do is target this welcome text. Now, if I scroll up and look at the current styles for the welcome text, which are right here, we see we use grid column and that is from one to six. Now, I don't want it going quite so far. Instead, I'm going to change that to one to five. So let me copy that selector and I'm going to paste it down here. Welcome text and I'm going to change this to one to five so it's not quite as wide so it goes to about there now and i'm going to do something similar for the image so again if we scroll right up to where we do the welcome image which is here that goes from six to nine but i'm going to change that to go from five to nine instead because the welcome text now ends at five so if i do that i'm going to save it Okay, probably made it worse, but I am going to do something else now, which is going to make this look better. At the minute, this image has a width of 200 pixels, or rather, sorry, 200%. So if I scroll up and find that, we can see it right here. 200% is the width of the image. I don't want to do that anymore. Instead, I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm going to set this to be about 100% instead. And I think that is going to look better, which it does, right? There's not as much space at the bottom, looks a little bit more equal left and right. OK, so that will do for the top section. Let's move on now to these projects. So the first thing I'm going to do is maybe just add a little bit more margin at the top of the list of the projects right here, because there's nothing much under this title here. There's no space, really. So let me now grab the projects class and I'm going to say margin hyphen top is going to be around 40 pixels. Save that and that looks a bit better. OK, cool. So the next thing I'd like to do is change how these things look right here. Remember, this is a grid and currently the grid column for each one of these is going from one to nine, meaning it's taking up all eight columns each. Now, I don't want that to be the case anymore, so I'm going to change this. Now, each one of these is an anchor tag, right? And I want each one of these anchor tags, these grid items, to span only four columns in width. So we can have two per row. So that's going to mean two on the top row and one on the bottom row. So if I do that now, I'm going to say projects A, because the anchor tags are the grid items. And I'm going to say grid hyphen column, and I'm going to say span four. So that means take up four columns in width and automatically place yourself. We're not saying exactly which columns, just automatically place yourself from left to right across four columns each. So if I save that now, OK, so that's looking a little bit better. But what I want to do now is now say display block because currently they're displaying flex and that means that these things sit next to each other. If I display it as block, it's going to remove that and these should sit underneath. OK, looking better. Now, I am also going to give these a little margin, and that is going to be 20 pixels top and bottom, and also zero left and right. Save that. Okay, doesn't make that much of a difference, but we have that margin now. Cool. Now, what I want to do is position this thing in the center. So to do that, I need to grab the last anchor tag in the grid. So I can use the last child pseudo class to do that. So to do that, I'll say projects, and then a and it's going to be last hyphen child. This is pretty similar to nth child where we said nth child and then three. Last child just gets us the last child. It does pretty much the same thing. 
And what I'm going to do is say grid column, and I'm going to say start at three and end at seven. Okay. Now we don't need grid row because it's already on the second row. So if I save that now, it's going to move in. So it starts at the third grid line and ends at the seventh grid line. Now at the minute, all of these things right here, they're all aligned left inside their columns. I want to align them to the center so that they shift over a little bit. Now to do that, I'm going to come down here and say projects A, and then use an asterisk to grab everything inside each anchor tag. And that is the image and the text, right? So it grabs everything that. And what I'm going to say now is margin is going to be 10 pixels all the way around. First of all, the max width is going to be about 60%, right? So currently these things, I think the max width is 40%. Let me just scoot up to see um, where were they here? Yeah, we're saying the max width of the images and the text is 40%, which is why they're not taking up the whole space of the, the columns. But now I'm going to set that max width to 60 pixels. So they're a little bit bigger. And then what I'm going to do is give these a margin each side of 20% and also 10 pixels top and bottom. So 10 pixels first, that's top and bottom, 20% left and right, which adds up to 100 in total. 20 plus 20 plus 60 is 100, right? So hopefully now they should all be centered and looking a bit nicer. Awesome, so that section is looking pretty good now. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna say projects and then H4, and I'm gonna say text hyphen align center. And that is gonna move these over a little bit to the center, save that, and that looks a little bit nicer. Okay then, so let's scroll down here. The skills section, I really don't think we need to do that much to it. So what I'll do is just add a little bit of padding to the actual section itself to bring these in a little bit and move them kind of more centrally. So let me grab the skills ID and I'm just gonna say padding is 30 pixels top and bottom and then 100 pixels left and right. And that should hopefully bring them into the middle a little bit more. That looks a bit nicer, I think. And down here, I don't think the form really needs any tweaking. It looks fine. And the footer will just change the background size of that. So let me say footer and background size is now going to be about 20%. Save that, makes it a little smaller and we can see more of the planet. Awesome. So now if we go back to a small screen size like this, this is mobiles, right? Looking good. And as we slowly get bigger, then it's going to click into place about 620. Watch this. There we go. And now we have the different design for slightly larger screens. And this is going to look okay for a little while longer. I think the next break point we have is 960 pixels. So let's see what it looks like all the way up to 960. Like that, round about there. That's 958. And that is still looking pretty good. Okay. So once it gets to about here, this again is starting to look like there's a lot of space here, not very even. These are looking maybe, I don't know, not quite right. We could maybe adjust those a little bit. They do look fine to be honest, but as it gets larger and larger, they're going to look less fine. So I'm going to maybe do something with that. Maybe add some additional styles down here to tweak this and the footer as well. And we'll do all that in the next video where we target large tablets and laptop styles.